All right, you guys, today is going to be the first video and kind of a series of videos with Pablo here, because if you haven't seen Minerva before, we make kind of uh, a lot of bigger projects and do a lot of weird things. And Pablo here has been instrumental in making quite a few of these different things happen. So first and foremost, we have little data packs like this scoreboard on the side, data packs that allow a single player to sleep at night, and they just sort of make our lives a little bit easier. And today we're going to be showcasing one that I think is going to be one of the most powerful tools I've, I've ever seen in a data pack, and that is opening a shulker box from your inventory or ender chest. Now, we'll get into the technical bit later, Pablo, but as far as I'm aware, it's kind of to fix a bug where if two players access a shulker box from the same chest and open at the same time, it's really easy to duplicate items because uh it, it only gets updated once it's closed so to restrict it to your inventory is honestly not even that big of an exception in my opinion because it's so easy to just access it right from your personal inventories all right i pull up discord here just to show you some totally not sponsored not asked for uh reviews from the members on my nervous we have southern here quoted in saying that it's being able to process uh, or being able to access stuff in his ender chest and pulled out through shulker boxes makes the game feel less of a hassle it's something that needs to be added to the game and final of course said that pablo this is why you're amazing and well lego just likes the name and uh <laughs> I wanted to show that as some of the reviews from our members and uh, that kind of motivated me to make this video. So I just wanted to show this sort of working in game. Personally, I've been using uh, my bikini bottom shulker box for stone while we've been mining it up because we've been trying to save a lot of the stone we get from this perimeter and putting it into shulker boxes. And one of the things I've been doing is just opening up my inventory and tossing it in here. It's great for little things because if you guys don't know this on my Nerva, I like to have my rainbow shulker boxes. This year it's, uh, or this season they're, they're SpongeBob themed, but I can access my chest for ender for ender pearls i can top off my uh, flight duration rockets right there if i want my food i do have to take it out of my offhand but i can stack it just like that and this is honestly one of the most powerful tools that has been added to our server this is going to make things so convenient in using shulker boxes in the future and if you want to use it from an inventory it's going to be so easy to just pull it out right click it and then you never have to put a shulker box down ever again to be able to access its inventory and I think that's about it about I mean, it's a really simple data pack. All right, flawless cut. So um, this is a bit of a jarring cut because Pablo and I have been walking through this for a while so I can show you guys how to install this. So if you go to the description below, there will be a download to this folder right here. It won't be my downloads folder, but you will have the client, the server and the JSON file. These are what you need to install this. Now you need to go to your dot Minecraft folder. If you don't know how to get this, just do run percent app data percent you can do wr for this if your windows key is enabled go to dot minecraft and then you'll have everything that i have open in this tab right here personally i have it pinned to my quick access because as you can imagine as a minecraft youtuber i access this folder probably three times a day so uh, once you're here you need to navigate to your versions folder Currently, this hack, I mean, I'm going to call it a hack because the way I've, from what I've learned talking to Pablo, it's really less of a mod and more of just a straight hack. Um, you need to, you, it only works on 1.13.1. Um, so you take this folder, you're going to copy it over. Uh, you don't want to interrupt your normal 1.13.1. You just want to paste it, make a copy of it. Now, this is important. You need to follow this step very carefully. It needs to be named 1.13.1 Shulker. This name is kind of arbitrary, but we've decided on Shulker. If you really care, you can change it to whatever you want, but name it to Shulker, no spaces. Uh, open this up, this JSON file, just replace it with the one that we've provided. Delete the other one. Now, 1.13.1, again, name it Shulker, capital S, enter. Uh, now this is where you're going to need 7-Zip. I'll provide a link in the description below uh, to also download 7-Zip. Uh, you can go to their site and open it from there. Uh, you're going to need it to be able to open the archive. Now you're also going to want to take your client. So what I've been showing you is how to install this for single player. There are two methods for single player and then the server method is pretty much the same thing. So you also want to open up the zipped folder in 7-Zip. You don't actually technically need to unzip it with this method. Uh, access these files, highlight everything on here, drag it and drop. You don't want to drag it into a folder, drag it and drop. Yes, you want to replace everything. And then you might not need to do this, but you're going to want to delete this MF folder just so that Mojang doesn't 
uh, yeah, it doesn't check to make sure their files are accurate. And that should be it, at least for that step. So if you open up Minecraft, you can go to launch options, add new, and then latest release, you pick the shulker version. I personally, I believe, because we've been messing with this a lot, I already have the shulker version enabled. Once you load it up, it should start your game just fine, and then you'll be able to load into the world and check out the mod. I'll show that in a second. All right, looks like my game booted up just fine. Load into any world, it really doesn't matter, but this is a creative test world I've been in recently, and I've already got some shulker boxes set up. So there we are, haha, we're in a world, and I've already uh, prepared some shulker boxes. You can see that you can right click them, open them up just fine. It will put your uh, cursor in this middle slot. I already talked to Pablo about it. This is what Minecraft does every time you open a chest. If, if I run over to any of the chests in the storage room, it always puts your cursor in that exact same spot. So as you switch between the shulkers, it will move, you know, your cursor over. But that's just a small thing I want to notice. But what's important is you can access these shulker boxes. You can add and remove items as you please. Access other ones by right clicking and it'll save it perfectly fine. Of course, if you wanted to place these in the world, you can... That's not a shulker box. You can open these all the same and it's totally fine. But now you can right click the shulker box. Now... As you might have noticed, we had to edit your vanilla client, and we tried to do this for Optifine, but it just it doesn't work. We're not 100% why, but if we fixed it, it would take way too much effort. So we're going to show you how to work around this. You're going to need to create a server, and it's okay. It's not as complicated as you think. You just create a server, call it, I don't know, server for the hack. Thanks, Pablo. So this is our server folder. You're going to need to go to your Minecraft launcher, go to the 1.13.1, uh, the latest snapshot right here, download server. Uh, this is on a side monitor for me, but you can see that we just can download the server folder right in here. Why is this a CR? Oh, okay. <laughs> All, That's right. It's so All right. That's loading. All right. Anyway, it. and drop it into the folder. Open it up. Now you want to put this inside of a folder because it's going to create a whole lot of files that you don't want to have anywhere else. Double click the folder to open it. You're going to need Java for all this, but if you're using Optifine, then I'm sure you know that. It's not going to do anything more because we're going to need to accept the EULA. You always go into the EULA, tell it true, save that file right there. We can close this, open up the server, and let it continue. Now, it'll set up the server, giving you all the necessary files to run a server, and you can see that it's opened it here, and then we can just sort of ignore that while it loads up. You will have a world folder. Now, you can technically go into server properties and um, change your, your world name to whatever other one you want. I can't even find it, but it's going to be named world in here. Uh, if you wanted, for example, I'm saying this because if you wanted to use, say, my storage room that I've been messing with, uh, you can do that. But... My personal preferred method is to just copy over all this data and just replace everything in the in the normal world folder. So why I did this is you can go to your shulker, load it back up all the same. It occurs to me that I did not have to restart my client to do this, but that's okay. We're still yeah, logging on my server. server though. Hmm? And the server is not modded yet. Server is not modded yet. <laughs> that's actually true. I did forget about that. So once you've moved your world folder over, you need to go to the server, open it up with 7-zip, open up the archive, and then honestly, you have to do pretty much the same thing you did before, but with the server client. Go in through 7-zip, open up the archive, drag it in. Uh, as I'm doing this, it occurs to me that I should probably stop the server before we proceed any further. Stop the server, totally kill it, that way we can modify the files and it should be completely fine. Drop it in, replace the files. And that should be good. The INF thing uh, is not as important as it was before because the server seems to be okay if we mod it. But if we go in through here, start up the server, it'll load up. You want to go through the IP localhost. This will connect you to your own private server. And once this is done, we should be good to connect. Now, uh, it occurs to me that I probably should have logged in with Optifine, but Okay, that was really buggy. It should work all the same. You can right-click the shulker boxes. It'll totally work. Uh, because this is a server, um, you can connect to it with any client. So I say this is for Optifine because I'm a huge Optifine proponent. You can uh, also use this for, for uh, Forge. Forge isn't out for 1.13.1 yet, but when it does, 
you'll be able to connect to your server with the Forge client, be able to use all your different mods, and uh, you should be open, able to open shulker boxes from your inventory all the same. And I mentioned that the server is pretty much identical because Pablo can correct me if I'm wrong. You can do, you, you can upload this to your server if you have like a box like we do, like Minerva has, where we all play on a community together. You can basically do the steps that I just showed you, but on the other side. Am I wrong? You just... Yeah, it's the yeah. exact same thing. That, that but, server, that chart file that you modified, you can use on the local side or you can upload to a server. Mm -hmm. So if you just upload this to your personal server, you use that as your jar file. Um, so if I go in with my Optifine account, you can see that I've connected. I'm in the world. I'm in survival mode. This doesn't work in creative, by the way. You can open up all your shulker boxes. You can access them all the same. I can zoom with my, my Optifine zoom and everything is okay. And that's it. So hopefully that wasn't too complicated for you guys. Hopefully you're able to follow all these steps to the T. Uh, be sure to comment below if you have any questions or things you want to say. Join our Discord, link below. Uh, as a more direct way to contact me and Pablo even on the Minerva Discord. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this amazing mod slash hack. It's honestly one of, it's made me more interested to play Minecraft if I even needed it. The fact that we can open our shulker boxes from within our inventory is honestly one of those things that you see and you think, why was this not added by default in Minecraft? And honestly, I'm, I'm not sure. This is such a powerful tool. I'm so happy to have it. So Thanks, you guys, for watching. Thanks so much to Pablo for even making this possible and letting me make this video on it. Uh, stay tuned for another, another video. Subscribe. Goodbye. Okay,